uh, I'm talking about modern periodic table and this is also known as long form of periodic table okay in in this modern periodic table okay the elements are arranged according to their increasing atomic numbers and this table was prepared by Bohr B O H R Bohr and is based upon the electronic configuration of elements and that is why this modern periodic table is also known as Bohr's table Bohr's table so modern periodic table consists of 18 vertical columns called the groups it contains 18 vertical columns like this it is here vertical columns and they are known as the groups and seven horizontal rows called periods so these groups are numbered from 1 to 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 is the same and then in the same way the periods 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is okay now about this uh, uh, predictable the elements of group a group 1 and 2 group 1 and 2 on the left hand and group 13 and 18 on the right hand are called normal or representative elements normal or representative elements they are known as okay which group elements the group 1 and 2 in the left hand side and group 13 and 18 on the right side they are known as normal elements or representative elements so elements of group 1 are called alkali metals okay alkali alkali metals and those of group 2 are known are known as alkaline earth metals those of group 13 okay as boron family okay group 13 as a boron family those of group 14 as a carbon family so okay 13 groups 13 elements are known as boron family and group 14 known as carbon family those of group 15 as a nitrogen family or uh, they are known as nitrogen families okay and group 16 are known as oxygen family and group 17 are known as halogens okay so different groups have different name group 1 is called alkali metals group 2 is called alkaline earth metals and uh, this is from the left hand side and the right hand side group 13 are known as boron family 14 are known as carbon family 15 are known as nitrogen family and 16 are known as oxygen family and 17 are known as halogens so okay and 18 are known as inert gases inert or noble gases or rare gases so there are in all 50 representative elements in the periodic table 15 1 5 15 representative elements in this periodic table okay the elements of group the elements of groups is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 are called transition elements transition elements because their properties lie in between the properties of elements of group 1 and group 2 on the left hand side and those of groups 13 and 18 on the right hand side of the periodic table so there are in all about uh, there there are in all about, in all 40 transition elements in the periodic table 
show in the long form of periodic table the elements have been broadly divided into metals and non metals by the thick zigzag line zigzag like this it is here like this. okay diagonally across the periodic table okay so those elements which lie on the left side of this line are metals and those which lie on the right side of these lines are known as non metals however the elements silicon germanium arsenic antimony and tellurium which lie along the border of this line show the properties of both metals and non metals so these elements are called semi metals or metalloids once again i am repeating here now okay those elements which lie on the left side of this line zigzag line are metals and those which lie on the right hand side of this zigzag line are known as non metals okay how you have the elements like silicon silicon germanium arsenic antimony and tellurium which lie along this border of this line show the properties of both metals and non metals therefore they are known as semi elements or metalloids